What is the molar mass of calcium chloride? Well, turns out I'm going to use this table to help us organize our thoughts. Bam. So the first thing I, I'm going to do is write down the elements I see in the compound. So we see calcium and we see chlorine. Then I'm going to write down the number of atoms. This is where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of calcium, there is an invisible one. All right. And that means there's one calcium and chlorine has a subscript of two. And that means there are two chlorine. Next, what we're going to do is take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of now each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. Here's calcium's mass, 40.08. Here's chlorine's mass, 35.45. So let's simply plug that on in. So this is 40.08. This is 35.45. And then to find the total mass now of each element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on a cross, right? So, so for calcium, the total mass of calcium is 40.08. It works out to be the same as its molar mass or molecular mass. And the other reason why is because there's only one atom. But however, for chlorine, it's going to be different. The total mass of chlorine here is going to be 70.90. All right, and that's because there are two chlorine now. So we took the two chlorine and multiplied by its mass. Then to find the total, just simply sum this column together. Look at how nice and easy peasy that is, right? So this works out to be about 110.98. Since we're solving for molar mass, it is in grams per mole. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.